Now, I know exactly where my nerve is. So, let's place an implant. As you can see here on this view, I don't have much teeth. So what I can do is pretty much place one, two or three implants here. Okay, I'm not an implantologist, but I'm going to try. So I go back on the screw icon here. I press left click. I go add implants. I select the tooth that is uh, matching the implant site. So let's say the four or six. I can use an implant library. But right now on the demo version, I won't have the STL file for all the implant manufacturer. But of course, if it's provided to me, I can add it to my implant library and then use specific implants. So I go OK. I go first left click and then again left click and my implant is, my implant is placed. OK. Now, of course, I can change the length, which is here the diameters, increase or decrease, let's say but 10 millimeters length and three dot half, three and a half implant diameters. Okay? Now I can see this implant right here on the actual view, on my coronal view, and on the sagittal view. Let's say I'm not happy with the positioning of my implant. Of course I can come here Ah, you see that I've got four arrows now. You can take it with the left click and reposition it on the actual view as well as on the kernel view and of course angulate it the way I like it. Here as well. And done. Perfect. You can close. And here we go in 3D. My implant is placed as easy as that.